Hello everyone and welcome to a new English lesson. Our lesson today is four. Round up. Today we have four objectives. One. Consolidate the meanings of some vocabulary through context. Two. Recall using the past simple and the past progressive appropriately. Three. Use some quantifiers in meaningful context. 4. Complete a dialogue with responses expressing sympathy. Could you please open the student book and turn to page 58 and open the workbook and turn to page 63? Let's start with the first activity. 1. Vocabulary. A. Cross out the odd word, then add one more. We have three groups. Let's check them out. 1. Knee, arm, ladder, back. So, which one is the odd word, which means the strange word, in this group? That's correct. Ladder. And what else can we add? To this group, another word from the same group. That's correct. Ankle. That's correct. Now let's move to number two. Afraid. Ill. Confused. Angry. Which one is the odd word? That's correct. We have three feelings and one sickness. Now what else can we add? That's correct. We can add surprised. Let's move to number three. Fog. Rain. Ice. Sand. Which one is the odd word? That's correct. The odd word is sand. What else can we add? That's correct. We can add snow which is similar to fog, rain, and ice. Exercise B. Circle the correct options. You can pause the video, complete the task, then come back and check your answers. We'll come back. Let's start with number one. My brother and I had an accident or argument. He took my tablet without asking me. What is the correct answer here? That's correct. It's argument. How about number two? Speaker A. Is Sue good at rollerblading? Speaker B. No. Yesterday she fell or crashed into a tree. What is the correct answer? That's correct. The correct answer is crashed. Now, number three. You can easily get lost or locked in a big city. What is the correct answer here? That's correct. It's lost. How about number four? Mom, I don't feel very well. Can you come and Pick or wake me up from school. So, what's the correct answer here? That's perfect. It's pick me up. It means to take him back home. Number five. What is the correct answer here? That's correct. It's smoke. We hear the fire alarm. And then we saw smoke coming from the kitchen. How about number six? I was reading a book when? Suddenly or immediately? The lights in my room went out. What is the correct answer? That's correct. It's suddenly. How about number seven? 
take an umbrella with you, there are gray clouds in the sky or land. What is the correct answer here? That's correct. The clouds are in the sky. How about the last one, number eight? The firefighter went into the building and noticed or rescued the people from the fire. So, what's the correct answer here? That's correct. He rescued the people from the fire. Now, let's move to the workbook. Page 63. Exercise A. Circle the correct options. Now you can pause the video, complete the task, then come back and check your answers. Welcome back. Let's start with the first sentence. The children followed the footsteps or noise in the mud. What is the correct answer? That's perfect. Footsteps. How about number two? We ran for three blocks, but we still missed or lost the last bus. What's the correct answer? That's correct. We missed the last bus. How about number three? Please don't shout or leave in the library. You have to speak quietly. What is the correct answer here? That's correct. Please don't shout. How about number four? Clark was very embarrassed or shocked when he arrived late to work on his first day. So, what is the correct answer? That's correct. He was embarrassed because he was late. Now, number five. Did you hear? A boy fell into the sea yesterday and a dolphin noticed or saved him. What is the correct answer here? That's correct. The dolphin saved him. Now, number six. Unfortunately, the small boat couldn't fight the waves and it hid or sank. What is the correct answer here? That's perfect. It sank. Well done, everyone. Let's complete exercise B. Complete the sentences with the correct preposition. Now pause the video, complete the task, then come back and check the answers. Welcome back. Now let's check the correct answers against your answers. Now, number one, I called four. Number two, pick me up. That's correct. Pick me up. Now, number three, the correct answer is over. Turned it over. Now, in number four, the correct answer is our block of flats. And number five, he got out, they got stuck in the lift. And in number six, jumped out. Of the window. And number seven, play jokes on other people. Let's go back to the student book. But first, go to the grammar reference on page 70 and check out the past progressive forms in the affirmative and negative. You can as well check the questions and the short answers related to these questions. And at the end, we have the uses of the past progressive. Now let's move to exercise C. Complete with the past progressive of the verbs in the box. We have go, ring, get, not sleep, wait. Now pause the video, complete the task, then come back and check your answers. We'll come back. Let's start with number one. Why didn't you answer the phone? It. That's correct. It was ringing. How about number two? 
Nura for me. While I ready. What's the correct answer here? That's correct. Nura was waiting while I was getting ready. Now number three. And this is a question. Where? Abdullah. When you saw him. What's the correct answer? That's perfect. Where was Abdullah going when you saw him? Speaker B to the park. That's correct. Now, number four. What is the correct answer? Don't worry. We, when you called last night. And the correct answer? Perfect. We weren't sleeping when you called last night. Go back again to the grammar reference on page 70 and check the past simple, past progressive, time closes, when, while, and as. Check when do we use them and here are some examples. Let's move to exercise D. Complete with the past simple or the past progressive of the verbs in brackets. You can pause the video, complete the task, then come back and check your answers. We'll come back. Let's check the correct answers. Now, in number one, the correct answer will be I sprained my ankle while I was training. That's why I didn't play in the basketball game yesterday. And in number two, while we were walking down Maple Street, a man asked us for directions. Now, in number three, Jamil was talking on the phone when I came home. Again, go back to the grammar reference on page 70 and check the uses of some, any, or no. And don't forget to check the note. It's about countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Let's complete exercise E. Complete with some, any, or no. You can pause the video, complete the task, then come back and check your answers. We'll come back. Let's start with number one. And the correct answer for number one is that's correct. Would you like some help? It's an offer, so we use some. How about number two? They didn't have any. We use any with questions and negative, and in this case, we have negative. So I got some popcorn. How about number three? The correct answer is there are no good films on TV today. That's correct. Well, again, check the grammar reference on page 71, but this time check the compounds of some, any, no, and every. It will tell you when do we use it with people, things, or places. Let's complete exercise F. Circle the correct options. Again, pause the video, complete the task, then come back and check the answers. We'll come back. Now, in number one, what is the correct answer? That's perfect. It's someone. There is someone in the house. How about the next one? P. What? I didn't hear. That's correct. I didn't hear anything. How about number two? What is the correct answer? That's correct. It's everybody. How about number three? And the correct answer is nothing. Well done. Number four. What is the correct answer? That's correct. Somewhere. How about number five? The correct answer is well done. It's anyone. And number six. That's correct. It's everywhere. Well done, everyone.
Activity 3. Communication. G. Complete the dialogue with the phrases A to D. Now pause the video, complete the task, then come back and check your answers. Welcome back. Now, number one, what is the correct answer? That's correct. It's C. How was the game? How about number two? What is the correct answer? That's correct. It's D. You won't believe what happened to me. How about number three? What is the correct answer? Well done. It's B. How awful. Were you scared? And of course, number four is the last one, which is A. No one. Well done, everyone. This is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.